Welcome to Venusian Soul. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be a message from the divine. So I want you to cast your gaze over these cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi group one, so the message I'm receiving very strongly for you is you're heading towards a new life. There's new manifestations, there's changes up on the horizon, but there is a need to have trust and also to remain open because what I'm hearing is the flow of life here is taking you in the direction or to the specific manifestation that you're desiring, but there's a need to kind of hold your faith or flow with some of the shifts and changes that need to happen to align you with this outcome. I'm also hearing like don't become discouraged if things aren't unfolding, you know, the way you want or in the exact time frame that you want because I feel like you're heading to the you're heading to the place that you've desired, but the path or the duration of it, the length of time you may have to wait or be patient for is longer than you would like. I also feel the hangman judgment and death. For some of you, there's a growth uh, or healing process that has to occur first before you reach these blessings. There's almost this need to be, how would I say, in the highest vibration or the best, being the best version of yourself first before you enter this new life. But with TikTok, I do get that sense of divine patience, divine timing. There could be things in the physical world as well that need to kind of come into manifestation or come into form before you can achieve the outcome that you've hoped for or that you've desired. But with peace next to the two of wands as well, it's like for many of you I'm hearing, you know in your heart of hearts what's around the corner. You know uh, and have a sense of what's right for you, what your path is, what's meaningful. And Spirit is saying, hold true to that and don't become discouraged or lose, you know, lose faith just in just because it takes longer than you expected or just because things may not unfold in the exact manner that you wanted or predicted. With the star, though, I do feel there's an upward trend in your life where things are elevating. You may be receiving more. Uh, I just feel like there's greater flow in your world than you've had previously. Definite upgrade. For those of you where you've been, I feel like for many of you, there's something, there's a big change or a big manifestation that you've been manifesting specifically. For some of you, I do feel like it's money or abundance. So it could be linked to a career opportunity or a change around career and finances. But I just feel like Spirit is saying you can have faith in some of the changes you've already made and things are moving in the right direction. But again, sometimes things can take a little bit longer than expected. And I also think there's this need, and we have trust here sitting beneath flow. I think there's a need, it's almost like a test of faith for some of you, where you're being challenged to really hold your faith or have a sense of belief, even if things in the physical may not look as desirable is the phrase I want to use because I feel like things are working themselves out, things are flowing in the right direction, but you do need to kind of listen to your heart space perhaps more than the mind or the ego that might spin a different story. But with the star next to new life as well, I do feel like the divine is encouraging you to move towards the things that really liberate you, that leave you feeling great. Make sure that you're focusing on the things that enhance your life, not the things or the people or the settings that deplete you. With death and the page of swords sitting above, I feel like for some of you, you may go through a process where you're unraveling or releasing aspects of yourself again that can't come into this new life or that aren't compatible with the opportunity that you're asking for or that you're seeking. I feel for some of you, if, for example, you, uh, I'm trying to think of a specific device, say you want to completely shift careers or start a new business, but you have this uh, tendency to withdraw, pull yourself back, procrastinate, not, you know, have 
fears around shining, around really being seen. Spirit is working with you to unravel some of those tendencies, those patterns, those beliefs. And really, this isn't just like um, shifting a behavior slightly. I feel for some of you, there's aspects of yourself that have to clear away completely, that you completely release, that you completely let go of to make room or make space for where you're going next. So I think the divine is saying like there's no need to be afraid of number one, what's around the corner, but what you need to let go of to really allow yourself to flourish and allow yourself to kind of upgrade and go to that next level. And for some of you, there could be some really deep truths that hit home to you around where you've been previously or what has or hasn't worked for you. So I think there, this is a period of time where there, it is going to be quite eye-opening on an internal level. So if there is a, a lack of movement in the physical, especially here with the hangman, where you feel like new life, the star, the hangman, where your dreams, your manifestations haven't yet fully come to fruition or come to form, I feel like the divine is saying there's aspects of you that can't come with you, that have to be left behind. And I feel for this group as well, there may need to be a period of introspection before this wheel turns and you're in this new world, this new cycle. I'm also hearing the more you can cultivate peace and trust with your journey, with your direction, with life, the better the outcome. With TikTok as well, peace and TikTok. Again, I feel like this is a time as well where you may have a bit of downtime before things really start to turn and change. So spirit is saying, take advantage of, you know, relaxation, going within, like being in a peaceful energy, because it may, there may be a future point where things, you know, speed up or things aren't as kind of peaceful or fluid as they are right now. I think right now as well, you're learning to master the art between go-getting action, divine masculine energy and that divine feminine where you're more at peace free flowing uh there's a there's a sense of well-being i also think right now is a time to really cater for you, to yourself to take care of yourself to take care of your needs to be in a really uh peaceful space and energy now is definitely not a time as well to put a lot of pressure on yourself or to be very uh focused on I i'm hearing pushing it's like, yes, you're still moving in the right direction, but spirit wants you to be gentle with that process or accepting of yourself in that process where there's not like a, there's not a sense of hurry. There's a sense of really cultivating mindfulness as you go through your day. There's also a sense of positive expectancy. I feel for many of you when it comes to either changing your life or bringing in a specific manifestation, you've already kind of done the legwork or the groundwork. You're already moving in this direction. Now's a time where you can just be more at peace and welcoming and receptive. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi group two. So the message I'm hearing for this group is you have so much wisdom and enlightenment and growth. There's so much you've built and attained within yourself through, I feel, I just heard a lot of trial and tribulation, maybe even a lot of ups and downs. We have like the sun, the five of pentacles, like you may have had a journey where the highs were really high and the lows like took you to your knees, that type of energy where it's been quite intense. But I feel for this group as well, there, there's almost a, a praise of you in terms of how far you've come and the fact you've kept listening to and following the divine. Uh, and it's almost a sense of completion. You finish with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You're headed somewhere really beautiful, but it's because of that inner development. Had you chosen to not kind of listen or follow, you know, follow your path or listen to the divine, I feel like this outcome wouldn't be here. There's a level of wisdom or almost like a graduation in terms of your growth and evolution that spirit and the divine is commending. And I also notice here we have building blocks 28, time to go 45 and 11. So we have 9, 10, 11 steps. And it's like there's a sense of taking the necessary steps, coming to a place of completion. You have the High Priestess, the Moon, the King of Cups. 
I think for many of you, you might be water signs or you have water quite prominent in your chart, especially Pisces. But I also, but we do have Leo here as well. But I feel this sense of there's a level of wisdom or even uh, in, intuition, psychic ability that you've attained. Your ability to hear spirit, hear the divine, connect with source, connect with God has been enhanced. I feel as though your your capacity to dig into your into the truth and really hear your soul speaking to you has also increased the the benefit with that with the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles i'm hearing for this group if you listen to spirit and you follow these psychic impressions these nudges these ideas you have the capacity to attain and achieve great levels of wealth uh, real true levels of abundance fulfillment and Spirit is saying the more you can follow that, the more you can listen, the better. With the King of Cups and the High Priestess, um, I feel with time to go, I feel like there's something that might be wrapping up in your life or there's something that Spirit has told you needs to end, that you're finished with it or it's just time for a new beginning. And I feel like the Divine is kind of encouraging you in that direction. And letting you know that it's safe to kind of make those changes. It's safe to begin again. With building blocks and by the book sitting above it, with by the again, with by the book and time to go, it's like something that you've been doing or a way of doing things, a period or chapter in your life, I feel like is closing out. And there's some sort of idea or impression you're receiving in in the direction of something new in regards to something new or in regards to perhaps beginning again. With building blocks though, I feel for some of you, this could have been a gradual process. Perhaps you've already taken steps to lead you in a new direction or perhaps spirit has already shown you that there's a new potential for you, a new path, and you're in that process of establishing this completion, establishing this ending. But I feel for this group, the greatest success you attain in this life, in this lifetime is you. The level of wisdom and enlightenment and illumination, those are the, the gifts and those are the capacities or gifts within you that give way to tremendous abundance in the physical. The more you can utilize them, the better. And for some of you, it may be a case where you're bringing your or using your wisdom, using your gifts, your talents, your connection to spirit in a way that brings abundance, whether that's working as a healer, whether that's sharing wisdom with others, helping to support them. I just feel this group, you have a lot of inner reserves that are, and that can make you very abundant in the physical. And spirit is saying the more you harness that, the more you kind of listen to those impressions, listen to your truth, the better. With the Five of Pentacles above the High Priestess, again, if you have any uh, hunches around finances, around increasing your abundance, it could be like it could be something as simple as applying for a particular role. You just have this knowing, like this is what I need to do now, or this is where I'm going to be working. Spirit is saying, act on that and go ahead with it. For others of you, this could be in the uh, this could be like a business. You might have a a knowing for an enterprise or something that you want to start and the the divine is giving you that green light to go ahead with it but i just feel like spirit is saying don't doubt yourself and don't limit yourself because you have so much um, potential and you have the capacity i feel to attain high levels high levels of success but this isn't just success and fulfillment in a empty you know material sense this is fulfillment in every sense of the word this is having levels of abundance. This is emotional fulfillment. This is doing what you love. This is being content and happy with who you've become and the levels you've reached internally. But with that three of pentacles and ten of pentacles, I feel for many of you, there's some sort of skill or capacity you've developed or that you have within you that helps to initiate these changes. It's like there's a certain level of growth that you've done or there's a certain... For example, you may have had some sort of realization, epiphany, truth internally that gives way to, okay, this is what I want to do in my life or this is my next step. 
I also feel like spirit is saying like, don't feel like you have to choose convention or choose what's safe. Know that you can, you know, pick, pick the path or take the road less traveled, essentially take the path that feels right for you. Even if to the mind, it could be daunting, or you may be uncertain in terms of how it's going to unfold or what it's going to look like. I just feel for this group, you're headed towards really a really beautiful outcome and beautiful times. But with the sun, it's like, I feel like you found that light and that love and that joy within yourself. And that's why you're on such a positive path and positive track. And I feel like there's a lot of energy here of the divine really commending you for the work you did internally, especially for those of you that are really resonating with having highs and lows and ups and downs. You've had to kind of go through a lot to reach this level. So that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi group three. So for this group, I feel like there's a change that's coming up for you or there's a change that spirit is encouraging you to make. We have not for you a change in the wind and co-create. So I feel for this group, like there's something that needs to shift or perhaps there's something you may have outgrown, like there's you're ready for a new experience or new endeavor, but I feel like it's going to take a lot of courage to kind of move in that direction. And it may require you to leave behind because we have security here sitting beneath relaxation. It may require you, it, I'm hearing it's going to shake your foundation. It's like making this choice may kind of lead to a feeling of, lead to not feeling as secure, for example, or feeling as though things are still kind of up in the air or ambivalent, feeling uncertain. I just feel like there's some of these shifts that need to be made, but they might be quite uncomfortable. But with King of Swords next to a change in the wind and then Ace of Swords here, I get the sense that for many of you, you know there's something that's not working or you know there's something that's got to close out. When temperance, though, there is that energy and five of cups, it could be knowing that intellectually, but emotionally, there's still a need for healing or emotionally it, it takes its toll in the sense of needing to come to a place of being at peace with what needs to close out or with what hasn't worked out previously. So I do feel for some of you, there could be this feeling of deliberation as things are closing out or as you're kind of going through this process. But I feel like spirit is asking you to really trust, trust your knowing, trust your instincts, trust that what's meant, meant for you will be in your life. But I feel like for this group, there's a really strong message of, um, trusting your prompts. Uh, cause I feel like your gut instinct, your inner truth will be telling you all of this. With relaxation though, we have temperance, the moon. There is a sense of giving yourself space and time though, to come to a place of acceptance. I'm hearing acceptance for what hasn't worked out or acceptance for where you're at right now, because once you accept that fully, you're going to be ready to start co-creating or you're going to be in a place where you're ready to proceed and move ahead. And with this seven of wands, especially, it's like, I don't know, there could be some defensive, some defenses internally around making these changes or, and, and it's going to vary for every single one of you, what this specifically is that spirit is prompting you to leave behind. But I feel for some of you, you may not, there may be a part of you that doesn't want to leave it behind, or you're not fully sure about leaving it behind. It's like kind of like one foot in one foot out. Like I know I need to make this change, but I'm a bit, you know, scared or frightened or overwhelmed or uncertain about how it's going to go. That's the energy I'm really feeling. Uh, this is a time for you though, where it's really about self-care. You may need time to kind of go within journal, meditate, like come to a place of cl clarity or really find that space of truth and acceptance where you're in a space of being ready. Spirit is saying as well, don't rush the process. Cause I feel for this group, if you try to rush things, it could actually create more fear and then set you back. Whereas the more open you are, the more you're allowing things to just be, I feel like the better the outcome's going to be. With moon and temperance, there may be a lot coming up to the surface that you weren't aware of, like as in five of cups here, like past emotions, emotions linked to this cycle, this chapter. For some of you where this is a person that you're sensing is not for you, there could be a lot of emotion because I'm getting like with this change or transition, 
there's a certain level of emotion or attachment or even just history. Sometimes when we've been somewhere so long or we've had a connection with someone for quite some time, trying to leave it behind or cut it out can be quite difficult just because we have that level of history or we've spent so long with that experience. With justice as well, sitting beneath the um, King of Swords, there's a sense of way, I'm getting like weighing up options or yes, it can be a card for me also of balance, finding balance with change or finding balance with what's going on. But there's a sense of like trying to get to a place of clarity or weighing things up and down, trying to be clear or cognizant in terms of, okay, this is this is what I could do. This is what's next. What path is right for me? Like, I feel like there's some de deliberation in terms of what you want to co-create. So there could be this period of time where you're not, you haven't fully reached that place of certainty. And spirit is saying as well, take your time in regards to what's leaving because you need to be in a place where you're fully accepting and fully healed where there's a sense that you have healed, that you have let it go, that you're ready for the next chapter. But I just feel in general, the divine is encouraging you to kind of keep moving ahead, keep kind of following your guidance as well, because I feel like your intuition is leading you, has been leading you, but there may be a need to really listen and trust, especially if some of these changes are a threat to it, like a basic sense of security if it kind of shakes up your foundation or leaves you feeling uncertain, then there can be that need to kind of be patient with that process. With the five of cups, it could be as well, like what's not for you or what you're receiving this intuition around. It's kind of like a disappointment that your mind or internally you had certain hopes or expectations and then it didn't quite follow. Uh, it had a very different outcome to the to what you expected, and that could lead to a sense of disappointment also. But I just feel overall for this group, there's a lot of changes that are going to be on the horizon. There's a lot shifting, and for some of you, there could just be a lot shifting as well inside of you, that there's a lot of changes and shifts that you're experiencing with your life, your world, your desires, how you feel even. And there's a need to kind of be patient with that process also. But with the lovers here, I feel like for many of you, you are going to make the right choice. And at the end of the day, if you're listening to your heart space and you're listening to your truth, it, you know, it can't fail. And the divine is telling you and giving you that green light, but it's also telling you to take your time and be patient till you reach a place of acceptance. So that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi, group four. So for this group, I feel for some of you, you may at times get caught in your minds or in the intellects, like overthinking things or really thinking, thinking about things deeply, but maybe at times struggling to take action. But for some of you as well, I feel like this energy, it could be as well that there's something that's calling to you but you're still in that phase of contemplating it. You're still thinking it through. You haven't yet jumped into it. But essentially for this group, it's all about the new. You have Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Like there's new experiences, new people, new opportunities for you. However, I feel like there could be some trepidation around jumping into it or you're still in that phase of deliberation. I just get there's a lot of mental energy. We have Finca here, we have Nine of Swords, we have Queen of Swords. It's almost like feeling with the Queen of Cups, feeling drawn towards something, but then either talking yourself out of it with the Queen of Swords or really weighing up your options. It may just be in you're not at that place where you're 100% certain, but I feel like there's a lot of changes and you may feel within your soul and your being like I'm ready for a new adventure. Where I'm at or where I've been is kind of stale. I've outgrown it. I'm ready. And I just heard my treasure is somewhere else. My treasure is on a different path or, you know, there's a different experience that's for me that I want to kind of pursue or I want to move towards. And with that Nine of Pentacles as well, there is that sense of I'm hearing taking your time, especially with the Queen of Cups sitting above the Nine of Pentacles. It's almost like taking your time 
before like weighing up your options sussing out whether that's going to feel right for you before jumping in which is not not necessarily a bad thing especially because you do want to be certain when you're making certain shifts and changes but we also have no place like home but I feel for this group you may be in a place where you're trying to find your home and again that doesn't have to be a literal home in terms of where you're living but find your place in the world perhaps you're in one of those spaces where you're trying to figure out like what do I really want to do or is this location resonating with me anymore it's like questioning everything I feel like there's a call for a new journey or a new adventure, but for some of you, you may be uncertain about it or you're not, I don't know, it's like not feeling 100% yet, still considering options. With the Three of Swords, there could be some healing as well that's taking place. There could be some healing from something that you've been involved in and once this healing, emotional healing is complete, that's when you're ready to take that jump to take that new opportunity to shift to move with protection you have adventures up here and then protection there's a sense of you being protected through the adventure through the changes through the shifts i'm also hearing like expect a miracle i think for some of you as well there's a battle between this for me is like inspiration this is a call of your soul a call of spirit and the queen of swords is like that practical part of you that's like how's that going to work how is this going to unfold you know what if it's not successful that the part of yourself that at times can kind of talk you out of it so I feel like spirit is saying lend more energy to the part of you that really believes in miracles believes that things can happen you know believes and has faith simply in yourself as well I feel for this group there is there is an energy of trust as well really trusting your journey trusting your process I, I just said trusting yourself spirit is saying you can trust yourself to you know swim and not sink to be able to navigate certain aspects certain terrain like you you don't have to feel as though oh maybe i can't you know see myself through this or maybe if i take action in this direction it won't work out like the divine is really letting you know that it is safe for you to have faith and to have trust in your path in your direction in your truth as well and with treasure island i feel like wherever you're going and it will vary for all of you but there's a sense of you're moving toward more abundance more treasure more happiness more fulfillment so even if right now things seem a little uncertain or it may not feel as fruitful there's a sense that it will and what you're the direction you're going in is going to be far more beneficial than where you've been previously i also feel with ace of wands ace of pentacles it's also finding something that excites you again like this can be a job opportunity a business a project an enterprise where you feel uh, kind of liberated or you feel that spark again it's something that does light you up it's something that does lead to a, a, a feeling of expansion that's what I'm hearing as well for some of you you where you're at is kind of stale or stagnant and again this doesn't have to be every aspect of your life everyone listening it could be a different area for some of you I do feel it's like where you're living you may be literally trying to find a new home or a new like location to set up base which could also obviously involve a career or job change but for others of you I feel like this could be career could be connection as well being putting yourself out there or being ready and willing to meet new people but I just get that sense of spirit saying you are protected don't allow your mind and fear to talk you out of what you feel and what you know because I feel for some of you you may kind of have this sense or you may have this knowing and this impulse but there's some sort of fear or trepidation around really acting on it or really moving ahead and I feel like the divine is asking you to kind of stay true to your soul's truth don't just listen to kind of that voice in your head or what your mind tells you make sure that you're actually listening to you know your knowing your deeper sense of self and I also feel for this group with miracles treasure island you're headed towards really beautiful things and you are also protected on that journey so even if things look a little rocky or you're a bit afraid or uncertain spirit is saying the outcome 
is going to be beautiful and it is going to prove itself to you in the sense of it's almost like where you have you reach that place where you're like oh my fear was unfounded things have worked out I am in a good place like I don't need to worry about that so spirit is going to say, is saying that you're going to see the fruits of these changes and these shifts but again you still need if you're really in this queen of swords energy and this thinker energy where you're still deliberating you're still kind of tossing things up up and down and you're not completely certain or sold then obviously you need to wait it out till you reach that place of knowing or truth however i feel like spirit is saying like there is a lot of benefits that are coming your way and the more you put and lend faith in your potential in what you can do the better as well because i do feel you're going to reach this place of being really grateful that you've gone through this journey and gone through this process as long as you don't hold yourself back from some of these changes but with the nine of pentacles you may still take your time it may be kind of one step at a time but spirit is saying just make sure that you keep moving ahead and that it's not you know a case of allowing fear uh, to create resistance long term so that's all i have for you i hope this reading resonates and i hope you have a beautiful day